Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD and in this tutorial let's have a look at ellipse and construction line tools. Yes, I will include ray also. So basically we are going to look at ellipse, elliptical arc, construction line and ray tools of AutoCAD. So let's first start with the construction line. On the draw panel of home ribbon, you will find a construction line tool here. You can start construction line from this icon or you can use XL for construction line on the command line to start it. So click on this construction line. I am using this icon here to start the construction line command and here is the construction line. Here you will find variety of sub commands or sub tools on the command bar. Now at first I will select horizontal. So. Once I select horizontal, you will find an infinite line which is horizontal or you can say that which is parallel to x axis. So basically a construction line is an infinite line. We can make construction lines which are, which are horizontal. So click on the screen and here we have our construction line. Click at the next point, next point, next point and you will be able to make horizontal construction line. Now press escape to come out of this command. Now go to construction line. Repeat the process with vertical VER and now you'll be able to make vertical construction line similarly. Now let's go to construction line again. And now we have angle. So go to angle and now specify an angle for construction line. So right now I'm specifying an angle of 30 degrees. So now you can see that your construction line is confined to the angle of 30 degrees. And now pick a point and the construction line will be made at that point. Pick another point, another point and the construction line will be confined to an angle of 30 degrees. Uh, right click to exit the command or press enter or escape. Now go to construction line again. And now here we have two more options, bisect and offset. But for using bisect and offset both the options we need to make some objects before going through these commands. So right now I'll make these two simple construction lines. So as you can see that if I don't select any of the option just by clicking on the screen at one point and then at another point will make a construction line and in this way I have made these two construction lines. Now suppose I don't know the angle between these two lines or I don't know the angle between these two lines and I want to make a construction line which passes through the center of these two lines. For that go to construction line, select bisect and now select the vertex. After selecting vertex, specify the starting point and make sure that your starting point is on this line or on this line. So right now you cannot click on this. So for that, go to O snap, right click and enable nearest option. After clicking on nearest, go to this line and you'll be able to snap on this point, on this line. So click on this line and now click on this line and then you'll see that you have made a construction line which is exactly passing through the center of this angle. Okay, now we have some other options here. Okay, so now let's look at the last option that is offset. So for offset, I'll make a simple line. And here we have a construction line as well. So now go to construction line, select offset. Now suppose we want to make a construction line which is at a certain distance from this line and which is exactly parallel to this line. For that I will enter an offset distance. Here I am entering a distance of 3 units. So click uh, 3 and enter. Now click on this line and now you can see that the construction line is at a distance of 3 units. If I would have clicked on this side the construction line will form on this side. Similarly if you click on this construction line it will make a construction line and if you click on a line it will make construction line. So it hardly matters only you need to select a line object. It can be a polyline as well. So we have seen all the tools all the subcommands included in construction line. Now let's have a look at the ray tool. So for ray it's like a half construction line. It starts at a point but ends at infinity. So you can draw a construction ray in this way. If you want to make a ray at certain angle, for that click anywhere on the screen and specify the rotation angle. So now for that click on the angle sign 
enter the angle value and press enter. Now this ray will be confined to the angle which we have just specified. Now let's have a look at ellipse tools. So we have done construction line ray. Let's look at ellipse. Here you will find three types of ellipse center axis and and the elliptical arc so I'll have first look at center ellipse so click on ellipse center ellipse so for ellipse basically the center ellipse you need to specify a center point now this center point will make the ellipses center now click on the end point now this will make the end point of the ellipse and now you have drawn the one of the axis it can be a major axis or a minor axis depending upon the length of the next axis so since we have made it now we are going to make the next axis so now click on the screen vertically vertically upwards and it will make another ellipse something like this now if you want to make an ellipse with exact values for that click on the center now specify a distance right now we are specifying a distance of 5 units and here we have this elliptical radius is of 5 and now we need to make it of length less than or greater than 5 to make it an ellipse so I am using a length of 2 unit and here we have the ellipse if I would have made it equal to 5 units then this geometry will take the shape of a circle having all the radii equal Now let's look at the second ellipse. For axis and ellipse, you need to specify two end points of the axis. And these two end points was this and this. And now the end point along second axis and the ellipse will be made. And for elliptical arc, you need to make an ellipse first. And then you need to specify the rotation angle. So here we have the ellipse. Now I'll specify the rotation angle. So first I'll specify the cutting point. So now suppose we want to start making this arc from this point and move in the anti-clockwise direction and the arc will start taking its shape. Click here and here we have the arc. Okay, you must have seen some of the subcommands here. So these subcommands are just ways to cycle through the tools which we have already seen. So after selecting arc, you'll be able to make an elliptical arc, which you have already drawn. And once you select the center, you'll be able to make an ellipse specifying the center point. So it's basically to cycle through all the ellipse tools. So that was all for ellipse and construction line. Thanks for watching.